Namaste everyone. I am Devi Chakka from New Jersey, USA. I live in Edison, New Jersey. So first of all, I would like to thank and pay my heartful tributes to Brahmarshi Pita Mahapatriji and Patri Ma'am for this wonderful service from years together. I am fortunate and lucky enough to be a part of this wonderful journey. So I'm Devi Chakka, my dear friends. Uh, I love to share my journey and my meditation experiences with you all. So this is my own journey. Uh, no matter how many times I share, I would like to share again because it will give ultimate bliss to you, bliss to me, because yeah, uh, sharing is my bliss and listening uh, my experiences and it, it if it may help a little to anyone that is enough for me. So I'm here to share my experiences to you, with you, my dear friends. So I got introduced to meditation at my ninth grade at the age of 14 years old through my mom. So basically my mom is like a spiritual scientist. Uh, she used to do a lot of rituals like puja, parayana, and she used to visit a lot of temples, but she never stopped like that. She tried to decode the meanings of what is the Lalita Sahasra inner meaning and what is the these namas and these rituals inner meaning. And she tried to identify, instead of following blindly, she tried, she always tried to identify the inner meanings of those things. So in her journey, she came to know that some of those inner meanings, all those inner meanings leading us to meditation and yoga practices, dhyana yoga practices. So by knowing all these inner meanings, she started search for the meditation. She's searching a lot and we went to many organizations like uh, Pranic Healing, Sahaja Yoga, Ramakrishna, Ramachandra Mission like that. We travel to many organizations, but somehow we didn't feel complete. Some there is some unanswered questions, still some void inside. Uh, so in that journey, one of my mom's friend, Veera Jagadishwari Garu, she gave us a tape, a video tape about Mukti Margam way to immortality or way to um, salvation or liberation. You can say anything that is, it's, it is in Telugu. It is Mukti Marga named. It, it is one hour audio of Brahmarshi Pita Mahapatriji. First time when we get that audio, all, all of our family members sat together and listened to that audio. So that gave answers for each and every question of ours. So we feel complete and we, by listening to that, we just get that clarity. This is the way, this is the ultimate truth. This is what we need to do in our lives. So after listening to that audio tape, we started doing meditation at our home itself. And after a few months, we, have an, we had an opportunity to meet Patrisar in Vaijak 2002. It's the occasion of Buddha Purnima. There is three days program going on. So we went there uh, with all of my family and we met Patrisar at first time. So when I see Patrisar first time, it's immense bliss, happy tears rolled from my, from my eyes. So I feel like connection. It is not like a first time. As if I know from, I know him from years together, I felt like deep connection and gratitude, love, uh, when, I, when I see Sar Guruji. So I started meditation. With that very first meeting, we decided to quit uh, non veg and egg. So we became completely vegetarians from, the, from Emil, our first visit, first visit to Patricia. So we started practicing meditation. And we started listening to many audio tapes and started reading books. And it's an amazing journey. I'm too young. At that time, I'm just 14 years old. Even though 
I'm passionate. I want to learn more. I want to share. Um, actually, from the childhood itself, I'm all these uh, school studies didn't make any sense for me. Uh, I'm really good at studies. I'm scoring good marks, but even though I felt it is not mine, it is not complete. I'm not here to learn these things. I felt like that. But once I came to know about meditation and soul science and I get what I really want. I started reading books. At the age of uh, 14, I started reading okay, Yogi Atma Kada, the autobiography of Yogi. So I love that book. That book gave me a complete picture how meditation will work. So many wonderful. It is not only one yogi story. There is many, many yogis different, different yogis in, who live in different areas. Uh, some sun yogis, some yogis who live only by breath, some yogis with two bodies. All those things revealed the secrets of life to me. So but we are not only the physical beings. We are immortal. We are more than these physical bodies. I understand really well all these spiritual science through that book. After that book, my journey started with many, many books like uh, You Forever, many Osho books, Medhat. Yeah, at my earliest Medhat, uh, that, that one of the book I love a lot. By reading those books and listening to uh, Pratisa radios and doing meditation, that gave me one clarity that I have to share this. It's a wonderful knowledge. Why people missing this? I have to share. There is uh, so much of enthusiasm inside me to share. I'm very aggressively sharing, started sharing this knowledge to everyone. Even though I'm, when I was traveling to college, I used to share with the people next to me. I used to share this knowledge to my principals, my college teachers and my friends, my, uh, my college gate watchmen. Whoever come on my way, I use it to teach, oh, I use it to share this knowledge with all of them. So when I am when I am sharing this knowledge, that sharing is giving me ultimate peace. So my journey started like that and everyone um, sharing so many experiences with me. I taught meditation one day, next day the same people um, come across me uh, in the bus and they, they share so many experiences with me. But in meditation, I'm not getting any experience. That gave me kind of jealous and curiosity why I'm not getting any experience. I'm really feeling deeper, deeper meditation states and I'm not having any thoughts, but I'm not having any experiences too. So that gave me, um, it, it's challenging me why I'm not getting any experiences. So then I, came, I went to Patriji and I asked her, oh, when I'm teaching meditation, everyone coming back to me and sharing experiences, but I'm not getting any. Then Sir said, you're done with all those experiences. Once you're done with cooking food, do you want to cook that food again? So you don't need that experiences. And so Patriji replied like that. That's a kind of uh, okay for me, but it's not give, give complete satisfaction to me. So I started doing intense meditation in my inter first year like at that age like a daily nine hours, eight hours, four hours, how much I can be able to do when I started doing meditation. Sometimes I sat overnight. So uh, just like that, I practicing after a few days in one full moon day meditation. So I started feeling immense bliss, the Brahman and the state. There is no reason for that happiness. In, the, in meditation, I started feeling happy uh, immense bliss inside me and I'm not able to compare that happiness to anyone. It is not, it is not achieved by any materialistic uh, victories, even though you get a lottery, even though you get Oscar, I don't know, even though you get a very um, great achievements in the physical life, you're not able to get that happiness, the immense happiness, very uh, deeper levels of my soul. So I started crying in meditation and I went to my mom and I hugged my mom, hugged my mom and I said, thank you so much. So that is the 
one important experience and uh, means a bliss i started feeling meditation so my journey is continuing like that and at um, so after my graduation i continue my wisdom sharing from my ninth grade itself i took hundreds of sessions i traveled east godavari and west godavari at that um, age so i took hundreds of sessions and after that um, after my graduation so we are looking for the marriage uh so um i chose my husband in my meditation only so after uh, the um, marriage arrangements and everything um so surya i live in i live here with my husband and two beautiful daughters he is surya and i have two daughters pradnya and nirvana so when i first time met my husband after he leave i meditate and i uh, intuitively i just I touched a book and I open a page, and uh, that matter and that meditation gave me uh, the clarity that he is the, my life life partner. So I chose my life partner like that, and I got married in the presence of Brahmarshi Pita Mahapatra Ji. So that marriage experience also a wonderful experience. I want to share in a, uh, in, not in detail, but I want to share little, my dear friends, because I have a great wish that. i need to get married under the presence of grammar shri pita mahapatri ji so patri sir was really busy at that time so but i have this very deep desire i never shared the to patri sir that i have this desire uh, i want to marry under your presence i never shared with my parents too but this is a very deep desire inside me so after um, my marriage got arranged i went to patri ji and i said, that i share that i am so i asked that please sir can you please attend my marriage then patri sir said oh if possible i will come then he looked into my eyes for few seconds then he said it is possible i will come so after that uh, everything it, it is like a coincidence it's a synchronicity uh, like um, synchro destiny i may, I, may, i may say when i uh, Mary Scott came to my house, and after five minutes, Patri Ji came to my house. He is traveling uh, to somewhere else, and he came to my house, and he take my first Mary Scott. And after he came to my marriage, and he meditate in front of the mandapa where I sit, and in that it, it's very crowdy. Almost three thousand people are there in at my in my marriage, so. one little uh, bug came to patrisa patriji hand and uh, she he hold those holy uh, rice akshinta in his hand and he meditate till the brahm uh, the muhurta muhurta and after that he just uh, blessed me and she left he left so after that i came to know i don't know how he came to my marriage after that nanda prasad and gandhi all his great master senior masters came to my house and they tell they told me do you know how guru ji came to your marriage then i said i don't know that they explained that guru ji need to go to uh, australia at that time to give his speech on theosophical society stage the theosophical society people invited guru ji as a chief guest to give his talk on uh, on their stage but patri ji sent saroja gulapalli madam to that stage and he cancelled his tickets and his australia trip and he cancelled two months dates and according uh, to attend my marriage he rescheduled his two months of schedule and he came to my marriage when i listen to that oh my god happy tears rolled on my roll through my ear through my eyes and through my cheeks home because how compassionate he is how importance he'll give to each and every one of us so i'm a little girl who is in living in a little village i'm not taking any important role in his vision actually but by by looking into my eyes few seconds he came to know my desire to fulfill my desire he 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 did very huge adjustments and he gave great opportunities and came to my marriage so that is the one of example and he never told me that he did all those things for me so he never told guruji 
he will take he will do lot of things for us but he will never share that he never accept that that is the greatness of guruji so after my marriage and i love kids so through my uh, wisdom uh, journey through my books journey i came to know a little bit some pieces of spiritual parenting but i don't have a clear picture of that but i am very passionate about that uh, subject i want to know more about spiritual parenting so i started researching on that and at that time i got an opportunity to met dr newton kondaviti at life research academy so i went there and i started first batch i attended first batch of soul coach training program in life research academy so through that program through my own experiences and through my own wisdom journey i came to know uh, beautiful things about spiritual parenting then i want to share that i want to share those uh, spiritual parenting subject to each and every one because it's very important it will change parents and kids life too it is completely raising a awakening and holistic uh, new generation so i want to share all this uh, knowledge to people but i have a little girl at the time how can i even share all this wisdom so i have different plans at my uh, in my mind like i need to make a brochure out of uh, out of this knowledge and i want to go to hospitals every week and i want to share all these things so many things running in my mind but i don't know how to share uh, then uh, i am living in hyderabad so there is some shivratri meditation gathering happening in kartal at maheshwara maha pyramid so i went there to meditate so in that meditation new moon meditation i got a message clear message in meditation you have to wrote a book you have to write a book about conscious parenting i don't believe myself after listening to that message in my meditation because i am not uh, believing myself am i is really able to write a book uh, am i right person do i have that much wisdom or no uh, just like that i am in bit of confusion at that time anand prasad garu he is one of my close friend he came to me and he asked me what is your experience in meditation then i shared this experience with him and he empowered me like anything to write to start writing this book and i shared this experience with guruji and i started writing um, a book about spiritual parenting conscious parenting it named as dhyana matritvam in few months i completed uh, writing that book so after i'm writing that book i had that uh, book got printed and it is printed for 6 to 7 times till now and it is translated to kannada language it translated it now it is translating translating to english so it is it's a wonderful book came out of me and actually i didn't do anything masters and gurus worked through me to bring that book out of me they chose me i am very glad uh, to have that opportunity to write this book so that book gave me a huge uh, family my dear friends whenever i attend a session whenever i uh, met some people everyone uh, they tell me i read that book it's amazing it transformed my life i gifted that book to many people so it's an amazing experience my dear friends the dhyana matritvam and conscious parenting after that i took so many sessions of, uh, in conscious parenting and i took so many counselings and i became a, a motivational speaker in later uh, so i worked in different areas of parenting and raising kids so my journey is going like that after that i came i moved here usa so in the usa after coming here it's a great shift for me to great change for me because i'm very independent in hyderabad i have my own vehicle and i use it to travel i i have a meditation center at the end of my street srinag in a srinagar colony and it, in his 10 minutes drive i have life research academy i have so many i am taking so many sessions and i uh, i have many friends there 
But after coming here in USA, yeah, I'm completely uh, like kind of house arrest because I don't have vehicle. Weather is not cooperative. It's really, really cold. I came in winter here. So and then I don't know anyone. So it's completely a new beginning for me. But even though with the help of meditation and this uh, journey, I mean, I'm able to adjust myself. I'm able to, I started enjoying this USA and your presence slowly, slowly. I start exploring here and I came to know a few people and I started sharing wisdom here as well. And at initial stage, I don't know anyone. And I came here just um, after a few months, like four or five months. I not yet settled completely, but I came to know Guruji is coming here. So I want to arrange a program. I want to take a date of Guruji. I want to arrange a program, but I don't know how to do, what to do, because I don't know anyone. I don't have any vehicle, I don't have any circle here. So it is very expensive to book a uh, stays, even though I book an auditorium like that, how to pull people? So I don't know anything, but with a strong intention, the strong dedication, I tried a lot. And I'm able to arrange a Guruji program here with 150 to 200 people came to that uh, program in New York. So it's a grand success. And so I enjoyed Guruji presence for two days. At that time, I, I'm pregnant. So Guruji came to my house. He cooked for me and he gave beautiful gifts to me. And at that time, my, at, in my house, I don't have enough uh, uh, furniture as well. Actually, it's a single bedroom house. I'm pregnant, so he gave that bed to me and he slept on the floor in my living room. So that is what Guruji. There is no words to say, my dear friends. We are lucky, we are fortunate. We are blessed and proud to have Guruji like that. Uh, so after that, I moved to New Jersey. And after coming here, as I continued taking wisdom sharing session and I got to know many uh, new people. And uh, after coming here, we arranged a mini Dhyana Chakra in New Jersey. All, all the people across the US here from different states came to New Jersey and we beautifully arranged two days the mini Dhyana Maha Chakra here. So I, I arranged all those things with the great help of a few of my friends from New Jersey. So then uh, every year uh, we are having Kuruji sessions here. And now we are having 41 days meditation challenge. Uh, a little group formed here and so many new people coming now. And very wonderful journey going here, my dear friends. So I would like to, in, at this, uh, in this opportunity, in this sharing, I would like to thank all of my friends in NJT. They're doing an amazing job nowadays. They're helping me a lot and we are doing, we are able to do a lot of things. In my wisdom sharing session, my dear friends, uh, after a few days coming here, I got an intuitive message, like I have to start wisdom sharing. I have to start some program for kids. It's a, in, it's a, a frequent message for me every day, every day in meditation. I'm hesitated to start this program. But uh, every day uh, I'm going, I, I'm getting that, uh, that message. And in, even though in my dreams, even though for two angelic messages, I'm getting this uh, message again and again. I hesitated a lot to start a kids program. But finally I called Patriji and I tested myself. I worked on myself a lot for six months. Then I started a program called Prahlad Dhruva for kids. It's a kid self-empowerment and mindful meditation program. So Pratma, Guruji, Brahmarshi, Pita, Mahapatriji named this program as Prahlad Dhruva. So I started this program. This is a one of great achievement, uh, I can say, because um, I started with one batch. I don't know how kids came to me, my dear friends. I didn't do any uh, publicity for me, but people came to know about this program one after one, one after one, one after none, many batches came to me, I almost taught eight batches till now. And still now I'm uh, teaching this Prahlad Dhruva to kids. Kids uh, experiencing a wonderful change. It's a eight month program. I don't know what to teach, but every each and every topic uh, came to me in my meditation through 
uh, intuitive messages. So this eight month curriculum now with me. So four months of basic level and four months of advanced level. So I'm teaching kids self-empowerment and mindful meditation program uh, from past one year. So it's a great success, my dear friends. I'm looking forward to take this program into in a big scale. Uh, I want to make this reachable to many people. So this is the one of the wonderful experience uh, with kids. And every time, my dear friends, I, I used to receive intuitive messages, what to do and how to do, how to approach. And through those intuitive messages, I recorded Devi Navaratri wisdom. And I recorded uh, Power of Now audio records. I explained an entire book of Power of Now and I make a uh, audio track of this book. So just like that, what to do and wait, how to do, I get intuitive messages in meditation. I just follow those meditation. And meditation leading me in my, li uh, in my life purpose. So I'm feeling ultimate bliss. I'm having so many wonderful experiences. I'm enjoying my journey like anything in this meditation. And recently I started um, doing short videos, 10, uh, 10 minutes and um, below 10 minutes videos about wisdom of meditation. I want to record 41 videos in this 41 meditation challenge. As of now, this is 29th day for us. I completed 28 videos. So this is how my uh, journey going on, my, my dear friends. A lot of change in me. I'm, I'm very impatient before meditation. After meditation, uh, a lot of balance. I'm very balanced. I'm very happy. And I came to know that uh, I came to know what is the purpose of my life. I'm able to understand the law of karma and why people uh, behave uh, and what is the conflicts, how to heal that and how to heal relationships. I, counts, I, did, I, did, I did counseling for many people. All those people get wonderful results. And I'm fortunate to have this opportunity to serve the society, serve this community work. And it is giving me ultimate bliss. And Guruji always like a role model for us what to do, how to do, how to dedicate our life. So we just going in his golden footprints. So this is what about me in a short video, my dear friends. Thank you so much for giving this opportunity. And please listen to all master's experiences. Each and every master journey is unique. Their experiences are different. By listening to their experiences, listening to their journey, maybe they learn all those things by traveling and by doing a lot of practice years together. But by listening to them in 30 minutes, in 20 minutes, in a half an hour, we learn all those things. We take all the wisdom into our, into our consciousness. It's a great thing to share our experiences and listen to people's experiences. Thank you so much for giving this opportunity to me. And to Hachakra DMC. Please subscribe uh, PMC English. It's a wonderful channel, my dear friends. It's, uh, it's bringing uh, all this wisdom available to everyone. So please subscribe PMC English. And thank you so much for PMC English giving this opportunity to me. Thank you.